for the Soft Clusters Mug Rug. We're going to be using cotton yarn and you can choose any colors you want. This one's a variegated yarn. And we're going to be using a four millimeter crochet hook. And to begin, you'll start with a slip knot. So wrap the yarn around your fingers, reach through, bring up your loop, grab both ends and pull. And that tightens up your knot. Then you can let go of that tail and pull on the working yarn. And we'll start with a chain of 26. So grab your yarn, pull through. Grab your yarn, pull through. And so you'll just keep doing your chains until you have 26 chains. For row one, we're going to skip the first three chains and work into the fourth chain from the hook. And I'm going to be working in the back bumps here. So when you look at your work, the front of it, you've got that V. We're gonna be going into the bumps in the back. So fourth chain from the hook, one, two, three, four. And we're going to do our first cluster. So yarn over, go into that stitch, bring up the loop, grab your yarn, pull through two. You're gonna leave those two loops on your hook and we're going to do that three times into the same stitch. So there's one. Now we'll do another one. Yarn over, go into the same stitch, bring up your loop, grab your yarn, pull through two. That gives you three loops on the hook. Yarn over, go into that same stitch, bring up your loop, grab your yarn, pull through two. That gives you four loops on the hook. Now you'll grab your yarn and pull through all four of those loops and there's your cluster. Now we're going to chain one, skip one stitch and do another cluster into the next. So skip this stitch and go to the next one. Yarn over, insert your hook, bring up your loop, pull through two, yarn over, go back into the same stitch Bring up your loop, pull through two, and one more time, yarn over, go into that same stitch, bring up your loop, grab your yarn, pull through two. That gives you your four loops. Grab your yarn, pull through all four. Chain one, and we're gonna continue this all the way around. So we'll skip one stitch and do cluster into the next. One, two, three, grab the yarn, pull through all four, chain one. Now we'll skip a stitch and do our next cluster. There's one, two, and three, pull through all four, and chain one. And so we're gonna continue to do this all the way across the row. So do a cluster, chain one, skip one. Cluster, chain one, skip one. Cluster, chain one, skip one. And I'll meet you at the end of the row. And here I'm coming to the end of round one. So I just did a cluster and a chain one. So we've got two, stitches left so we'll skip one and into that final stitch of the row we'll do our final cluster so there's one two three oops pull through four and now you're going to chain three one, two, three. 
So there is row one. For row two, you're going to turn your work and we're going to put one cluster in the space between the clusters of the previous row. So we're gonna be putting them in that chain one space. So we're gonna to come to this first one and do our cluster. And pull through all four and chain one. And then you'll move to the next space and do your next cluster. One, two, three, pull through four, and then chain one. So each of these spaces will get a cluster and a chain one. So do cluster, chain one, move to the next one, cluster, chain one, all the way to the end of your row. And here I'm coming to the end of row two. I've done my cluster in this final space, my chain one, and now we're going to do a cluster in this chain three space that we just, that we did at the beginning. So the yarn over, do your final cluster right here, just going through that space. And pull through all four. And now you will chain three. One, two, three, and turn. For rows three through five, we're just going to be repeating what we did on row two. So you'll go to that first chain space there, do your cluster. There's one, two, three, chain one, and then move to the next chain space and do another cluster. And then we'll pull through all four and then chain one. So you'll do one cluster and a chain one for each of the spaces, just like you did for row two. And then when you reach the end of each of your rows, you'll do your final cluster in that space where you did the chain three. And once you've done your final cluster, then you'll chain three, turn and repeat. And here I am at the end of row five. I just did my final cluster now you'll chain one, turn your work, and for row six, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way across. So just one single crochet in each stitch. And I will meet you at the end of this round. And here I've come to the end of a row six. Now we're going to tie off and cut the yarn. And you don't have to worry about weaving in your ends because those will get incorporated into the fringe. But we are going to turn our work over and do a row of single crochet along this edge. So just attach your yarn. And then do a single crochet in each stitch all the way across this B 
beginning edge. And once you've reached the end, you'll tie off and cut your yarn. And here I've finished my edging on both sides. And now we're going to add the fringe. So we're going to cut 32 strips of yarn. And you're going to take them two at a time and attach them to the edges here. So you'll use 16 strands on each side and you're gonna be grouping them two, two of them together. And so we're going to take the yarn, the two strands, fold it in half. You're going to put your hook through the stitch here along the edge. We're going to start with that first one. Pull through and then this loop that you've created, you'll take your loose ends here, put it through that loop and then just pull tight. And you can use a yarn needle for this if you prefer. So we'll take our next two and then move to the next stitch here. Pull through and then run the ends through that loop and pull tight. And you're going to do that to where you have eight of these going across on each side. And here I've added all of my fringe. So we've got eight groups on each side and I've trimmed them down. It's about two, maybe three fingers. You can choose the length that you want for the length of your fringe. And there we go, that is done. And it's just the right size for a coffee cup. Hope you enjoyed this video.